and that off. Two miles in front of them in the third race, the Kettles Country House Hotel supporting Fingal Ravens GFC race day maiden hurdle. Firefox is the first to show in front from Scorsese in between them is Barry Byrne. Being followed in the second flight by La Hornstown, Curiosa Hackney Hill. In the stripes is Dr. Glide, followed by Magic Ollinger. On the stand side in the start cap is Aronsi with up the running rail on sorting themselves out is Helvig Dream. Firefox goes on by a couple of lengths from Ballyburn, just edging into second place from Scorsese. In fourth place is Hackney Hill. These are followed by Eronsi. Dr. Glide, Magic Ollinger next with Curiosa towards the inside. They're followed to the first of three flights past the stands by Helvig Dream and then La Horns Town. Folly Master is next, then Intent Approach, the Grey's King's Hill, Aussie Lodge next. On the inside, another grey, the corner bar, followed by Roderick. Krikori Hills is next, being followed by Jerk. That a boy, Charlie Solly Atwell, without exception, Shigar. Brogue Man River and Iro Sacre is the back marker. Away they go from that third flight and onto number four. In the lead is the triple bumper winner, Firefox, from in second place, Bally Byrne. The market principles over one and two, followed by Scorsese and Hackney Hill. They're followed by Eronsi as they continue on rising ground to flight number five, taking them into the back straight. Firefox is the leader, Jack Kennedy, tracked by Bally Byrne and Paul Townend in second and third is an improving Hackney Hill and Mark McDonough and then Scorsese as they turn at the top. After Scorsese is a Ronsi being followed by Dr. Glide and Curioso, those two racing together. Helvig Dream is next with La Horns Town, Magic Ollinger. Folly Master and Tent Approach and Aussie's Lodge next with Kings Hill and Krakota Hills in the corner bar and Roderick next, followed downhill to halfway by Jerk. And after them is at the boy Charlie. Further back in the field to Brogue, Man River and Solly Atwell, without exception, Shigar and Iris Sacra, all those towards the back. Passing the halfway stage, the leader by a couple of lengths is Firefox from Ballyburn. And third is Hackney Hill. Good three lengths then of a gap to Scorsese. And then Eronsi and Dr. Glide and Magic Ollinger is next. They're followed by Curios and Helvig Dream. La Horns Town in mid-division and then Intent Approach and Folly Master and Aussie's Lodge is next, followed by Kings Hill. After them on the outside is Attaboy Charlie, who's picked up ground. Krikor Hills followed by Roderick and then Jerk in the corner bar. Brogue Man River, Solly Atwell, Shigar, Iris Satran without exception. They're getting spaced out. Three quarters of a mile to go. They're heading for the flight on the approach for home. And it's Firefox continuing in the lead. From Ballyburn in third is Hackney Hill. And fourth is Scorsese. Little has changed in the order up front. With five furlongs to go and three flights to jump. And the Kettles Country House Hotel supporting Fingal Ravens GFC race. They made and hurdle over the conventional two miles. And it is Firefox into three out. From Ballyburn who jumped up on terms. Being followed by Hackney Hill. In the black and white is Scorsese. Scorsese with Helvig Dream next on the inside of Veronsi and then La Horns Town. Running around the home turn, they're almost back at the point at which they set off. And it's Firefox and Ballyburn, separated by half to three parts of a length. Moving on by four to Hackney Hill, then Eronsi. Helvig Dream on the inside of Magic Ollinger as they straighten up. They've two flights left to jump. Firefox on the rail. One out from the rail is Ballyburn, who's now nudged along as these two kick away from Eronsi, who moves into third out of Hackney. Hill, then Helvig Dream, Magic Ollinger and Dr. Glide. This is the second last and the better of the exchange in the air came from Firefox and opens up with one to jump. It's Firefox, the leader, over the last from Ballyburn, they're away from Moronsi who wrapped it in third and then Helvig Dream and Hackney Hill, but it's Firefox all the way as they run deep in the closing stages. Firefox extends his winning run over second time flights, making all from Ballyburn. Well, clear of Moronsi, Dr. Glide, Helvig Dream, Hackney Hill next, and then at a boy chart. Just had a fascinating race for the maiden hurdle here at Ferry House and it went the way of Firefox completing a four-timer. Double on the card for Gordon Elliott who's with us now. Gordon, it was a really interesting race to watch. What are your initial thoughts on it? I was impressed with him, Gary. You know, we were worried the two miles might be sharp for him, but Jack said he's going to keep it simple. He popped out, he jumped brilliant. Uh, you know, with his horse at second is very, very good. Um, 
it looked a proper race and you'd love the way the two of them down over the last two hurdles to gallop the whole way to the line. Good race. Yeah. I know your horse had a run under his belt this season, which wasn't necessarily the plan. He was effectively a super sub, I think, in Dan Royal. He wasn't supposed to run to look down right, it was a good bit of work. But uh listen, uh Willie's horse is a good horse, ours is a good horse, uh, you know a good jumpers between them and I like him. Yeah. What about the future now? Will you look at one of the novice hurdles at your beloved Navin, maybe? We have to think about it, yeah. You know, Noel and Valerie are obviously from Navin, so they'd love to have as many runners as we can. But look, whatever he does this year, it's all about the future. You know, we bought this horse as a three year old, Eddie bought him as a three year old, and we knew he was going to take time. And Ferris and Noel and Valerie just they're setting their hands on the way it is, and it's, it's, you have to take your time. It's paying off now. You started him off over two miles today. Is it in your head to step him up as the season goes on, or not necessarily? I think I definitely could in time. When it'll be, I don't know, but he definitely could to look forward to without question. Your second winner on the card, as I say, how pleased were you for Charlotte Butler winning on Saudi Flow? Yeah, no, great. She gave it a great, good plucky ride. Uh, she's been in a couple of days and rode out with us, so it's nice uh, to be able to give her a spin. Um, yeah, he's a grand big honest horse, but probably goes three miles. Quite lightly raced as well. Could yeah. it be more to come from? I think he, he could win a couple more, yeah. Lots of chances to come today, Gordon. We won't go through them all, which I'm sure you'll be delighted about, but what in particular are you looking forward to unleashing? Uh, the Grey Diamond and the Handicap Chase, a nice horse, he goes well. Uh, you know, the others have ran, and I have a nice horse, two nice horses in the bumper, so I like doing that. You certainly do. It's a race you support, obviously, in memory of your uncle Willie. Are these two of your better bumper horses, do you reckon? Uh, no, a lot of nice ones at home. I <laughs> uh, got a few little setbacks and a few nice ones, but uh, just the way it worked at the moment, uh, the, the week coming, that these were two that were ready to run, uh, but no, we have a nice bunch. So if you are going to add to your tally, is that going to be the race today? Uh, I'd be disappointed if I don't in that, but Willie's always dangerous in the bumpers. But uh, there's a couple of races left yet. Okay, we'll see what happens. Well done. Thanks, Gordon. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.